Hi everyone, okay. I am alive, I am here, and I am doing a video for you now, and um, there has been reasons why I have not made videos in like three months, and part of that is has to do with my equipment to make videos. Um, cameras not working when I try to record on, you know, they say I have full battery and then when I record it doesn't work. It like lasts for like a minute. And also my MacBook, which I'm recording on now and hoping it's going to work this time, but half the time that I record something on there, it my voice doesn't match up to the picture, which is like, I can't post something like that because it drives me crazy. Anyway, so the video today is about Jurgen's Natural Glow. Um, I've been thinking of coming up with, I've been trying to come up with um, video ideas for you and finally I have some so I will be trying to make more videos now because I actually have ideas so if you have any ideas please throw them out there please please throw them out there because I can't do videos if I don't know what to do them about so yeah okay today's is about Jorgen's natural glow the face one and the uh, the body all over one and I have the fair to medium skin tones um, option okay so, I know I'm pale now because I have not been using this for the past like two weeks, but, or like more like a week and a half, but when I am using it, I love it. Love it. Okay. I am going to post a picture within this video somewhere of, um... What I look like, I went to Atlantic City a couple weeks ago and... I am like, and this is in the like, in the middle of winter, and it was, I was so pale, and I bought this because I heard from other friends on Twitter that it works, and I needed something, so I got it, and I used it, and I have to tell you, I looked damn, and I actually was using it, when I used it like a week and a half ago, I used it like twice, or two or three days, and Someone at work, I didn't say anything to anybody, and someone at work actually was like, have you been tanning? You look really tan. I'm like, no, but thank you. I was so excited because, yeah, as you can see, like, I'm naturally very pale. So, <laughs> if I get this color, you know, I was afraid it's going to come out orange because you always hear those horror stories, but I'm pretty sure most brands um, have kind of improved that over the years because it's, you know, it's one of the most common fears of self-tanners. Um, and this one, I think, has been around for a while, so they've pretty much, you know, perfected it as far as, um, the color goes. And I swear, this looks really natural, and I've had trouble in the past with self-tanners where I put it on, and the next day, um, like, you know, there's streaks, or, like, you put it on your knees, and you try to be, like, scarce around the knee area, because they say don't be careful around the, you know, knees and elbows and, and ankles. And it t turns out like super weird orangey looking in those spots for some reason. But I have not had that trouble with the, this, um, the Jergens one. Um, not at all because it's gradual. It's gradual, gradual natural looking color. So, you know, oops. So over the course of, you know, a certain couple days you'll, you'll be tan. Like I, I apply it once and there's a very noticeable, di like noticeable difference. But you apply it like three days there's, you know, you can tell. And then, I haven't done, when I use it, I use it, um, usually I'll do it like one, if it's, like I'm starting from paleness, I do it like the first night, usually I do it at night, and then you have to wait a couple minutes after you apply it. I do it all over the body. Um, and then, you know, I wait like a couple minutes, like stand there, brush my teeth in the bathroom with the door locked. Yeah. Um, and then I put clothes on after. So you just have to let it dry a little bit. But, yeah, so don't do it if you're trying to rush out the door in the morning. You don't want to be rushing while you do this. And also, you have to exfoliate before you, you know, put the self-tanner on if you want it to look smooth. And you don't want, you know, if you have dry skin, it'll catch on there. And it, yeah, you have to just uh, make sure you, if like a loofah, scrub your body and before you apply this. And this is a daily moisturizer, so you don't need to worry about putting it on and then... Yeah, it's basically your lotion, and also, um, what else was I going to say about this? I was just going to say something I forget, and I'm sorry that there's people outside making, like, noise. There's construction for the past year of my house outside, um, 
anyway. So then this is the face one. Um, the face one I like as well. I haven't really had any issues with like breaking out because of it, so that's a good thing because I have really sensitive skin. So if I'm not breaking out from it, then you know it's pretty good. It's oil free, um, lightweight, non comedogenic, dermatologist tested. So this is pretty good too. Um, I wasn't using this at first, but then I was like, wait, I don't want my face to be like pale and then my body to be tan, that'd be weird. So I use this on my face, like around the ears and like just the bottom of the neck area, like around here. And then the rest I used with the this one. And make sure you wash your hands after you use it. Like any self-tanner rule, you always have to wash your hands because your palms will get orange. They will. Um, anything else? I think I was going to say something else about this and I totally cannot remember. Oh, I know. It does not smell bad. Like, I know some people say self-tanner smell bad. I mean, I've never really had an issue with self tanner smelling bad, so maybe it's just me. But I have, I don't think this one smells bad. I, it does have a scent to it, um, so if you don't want any scent, like don't use this in the morning and then go about your day, you, you know, I don't, you're going to have a scent. So I usually use it, like I'll take a shower at night and then I'll use it. So if you don't like to take night showers... Um, you can use it in the morning, I guess, but that's totally up to you. I know people use it in the morning or night, and, yeah, so I use it at night most of the time, 90% of the time, just easier, and I wake up tan, so I love it, and I walked out the door today, I swear to you, I walked out the door with, like, capris on, and I walked out a couple steps, I looked down at my legs, I went back in and put jeans on because I was so embarrassed because my legs, you have no idea, like, I'm so pale, and this is amazing. I, that's why, you know, I'm running low, but I need to start using it again. I just stopped, like, a week ago, and now I'm pale. But this one does last a lot longer than other self-tanners. Like, it doesn't just, since it's, like, a gradual self-tanner, it doesn't just, you know, you go in the shower, take a shower, and it's all gone. Like, it lasts a couple days even after you haven't been using it. So what I usually do, like, if you're super pale like me, and you don't want to just, like, walk wake up the next day tan like I do this every other day sometimes instead of every day because I don't want to be you know so noticeably tan that it looks kind of strange for me to be tan for my paleness so that's what I do um yeah and I love it and I totally recommend it I don't know how I forget how much this is this I think this was like seven something and this was like six something or five something. I don't know, but this one's still pretty full. You really only need a drop. Of, it looks like it's so tiny, but you really only need a drop. I mean, it's only your face. This one, I feel like goes a little faster because your whole body, unless you want to do your only your legs, but then why would you want to do only your legs? Because then your arms are going to look pale. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, this, and they also have another option, which I haven't tried. Um, the one that's like overnight you're supposed to get um, tan but I don't I haven't tried that one and there's another if you have um, darker skin tones there's medium to dark skin tones so yeah that's also an option but I have not tried that one either okay anyway so I will post those pictures somewhere in the video maybe I already did or yeah or link to them or something and you can see like how tan I was a couple weeks ago when I went to um, Atlantic City and it was pretty awesome. And I only had been using it like, t I only used it like three times, I think, before then. So that wasn't even the full week that you they recommend for like a real tan. So that was pretty impressive. So check that out. And I hope you guys um, are still watching my video. Will still, blah, 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 will still watch my videos. I am so, so, like, it's not like I don't, I love you guys. And that's not real. That's not the reason why. I, I mean, I didn't stop making videos because I'm, like, sick of you guys or sick of YouTube. I love making videos, and I love responding to you guys and seeing your comments. It had nothing to do with it, believe me. Um, I am just one girl, you know, trying to go to college and do a million other things and work and make money, and, and I'm busy. And when I'm not busy, I don't know. I just, you know things happen and it's not nothing against you I really do care about my subscribers and I thank you all for sticking with me and sub even subscribing after you know I've disappeared like thank you so much and I mean it I haven't disappeared like if you look at my Twitter I'm always on Twitter like constantly so 
Um, you can always keep in touch with me that way as well. And give me ideas for videos, because I love making videos, and I will love to um, hear your recommendations and try to fulfill them. And I have a couple videos I'm going to be making soon. So, yep, I uh, will talk to you all soon, and have a great day. Bye.